What's up, peers, and welcome to the World Crypto Network, where we continue exploring the amazing Wasabi Wallet. And uh, today, we will go a bit further into detail on how Chalmy and coin joints actually work. And for that, uh, well, let's go to the source. On github.com, uh, we can find the zero link, the Bitcoin fungibility framework. And that was co-authored by Napara73, who has and also worked before that on the Hidden Wallet and now, of course, the Wasabi Wallet, and TDefD, uh, who is a big proponent of the Samurai Wallet. And those two together, um, and of course, with the help of some uh, many other individuals, uh, have worked on this. Uh, and it is truly a fabulous uh, piece of technology. And although this is rather a technical, I still really suggest that you go through uh, the entire uh, white paper here or framework here because it is rather intuitive actually and completely doable. Uh, we will focus, however, here just on a couple parts. And the reading here is Chalmian coin joints briefly described by Gregory Maxwell, one of the um, most prolific Bitcoin core developers. Using blind Chalm blind signatures, the user connects and provides an input and a change address and a cryptographically blinded version of the address that they want their private coin to go to. The server signs the token and returns to them. Then the user anonymously reconnects, unblinds their output addresses, and returns them to the server. The server can see that all the outputs were signed by it, and so that all the outputs had to come from a valid participant. Later, people reconnect and sign the total coin join transaction. And Nopara is here summarizing a simplified workflow. The user provides its input and a blinded output to the tumbler. Then the tumbler signs that blinded output and gives it back to the user. The user unblinds the signed blinded output and provides the server the signed output through a different anonymity network identity. That's a Tor identity. The tumbler then constructs the entire coin join transaction and gives it out for all the users to do the final signing. Okay. And that was really dense. So I suggest you read over this paragraph several times, but it explains the gist of all or of what the coin join really does. And let's scroll back or down a little bit uh, to see a, the simplified protocol here uh, with a couple you know, pictures. So there are two main different identities, actually three, um, but the two important ones are Alice and Bob. Now, important is to know that both of these uh, identities belong to the same user. They belong to the same Wasabi wallet instance that you are running on your hardware. Okay, so this is both you but two different Tor identities. And Alice, your first identity, provides a, the coin join output. Uh, so that is where the co uh, coins are going to end up, right? That's where you're going to receive the 0 0.1 Bitcoin as a equally created output. And this address, you blind uh, with cryptography, uh, white magic. And you send them uh, an array of inputs and proofs, okay? So you have the blinded coin join outputs uh, where you have the equal amount, right? The 0 0.1 Bitcoin. And then your change output, the address where the change is going to end up, in, okay? And these two different addresses, one for your equal amount, one for the change amount, you send to the tumbler. Uh, which is, in the case of Wasabi, uh, the server in the backend. Here, this Wasabi wallet then checks if your inputs have enough coins, right? If you actually have more than 0 0.1 uh, coins, a, a Bitcoin, and then it checks the proof 
that this is actually a, a blinded signature, right? It also checks, of course, that the inputs are unspent, right? It has to be unspent transaction, otherwise it's no longer a valid Bitcoin. And then it signs with its own PGB key, the blinded coin join output, the address to which you want the equal amount of Bitcoin uh, to end up in, okay? So the Tumblr does not know exactly which address is Alice's, but he knows that Alice provides some valid inputs and he knows the change address from Alice, but he does not know which blinded address, uh, which, which uh, 0 0.1 Bitcoin address Alice will end up in. However, he still, or the Tumblr still signs this address so that he can then later uh, verify that this was actually a valid address, okay? And then he sends this back, signed the signed blinded coin join output, okay? So that's the equal address, which is blinded by Alice and signed by the Tumblr, goes now back to Alice. Alice shuts down the first identity, creates a second Tor identity on the same client, on the same hardware, okay? And this identity is called Bob, okay? And Bob now waits, and, or uh, Bob now assigns the coin join output. So that is, again, the blinded address that Alice initially provided to the Tumblr, which was then signed by the Tumblr. Now Bob signs this output unblinded, okay? And uh, he will send this unblinded and signed coin join output to the Tumblr itself. And now the Tumblr sees that this is actually a address that corresponds to Bob. It's unblinded now. He sees this clear text address. However, this address also has this Tumblr's signature on it, okay? And that's just how uh, Xiaomi and blind signatures work. Uh, but now he knows that some Alice has provided this coin join output and that Bob has signed a coin join output that was previously provided by Alice. So it checks his own signature. And then after all the Alice's and all the Bob's have went through this step, he has all the valid inputs, all the valid uh, coin join outputs and the change outputs. And out of this, the Tumblr can construct the entire coin join transaction, okay? Then this fully uh, build up coin join transaction is sent back to all the Alice's. Okay, so the first identity of all the different individual clients uh, is being sent this big, large transaction. And Alice signs the now, at this moment, unsigned coin join transaction, which contains, of course, all the blinded coin join outputs, all the change outputs and all the inputs uh, that were provided by Alice, uh, well, this one was blinded and unblinded and signed by Bob, okay? And then this entire signature of the entire coin join transaction is being sent back to the Tumblr, to Wasabi, uh, and used, or, or then again checked for all the signatures. Uh, the Tumblr combines all these signatures, and when they are all valid and correct, then he has a complete large giant transaction and this can now be broadcasted to the entire Bitcoin network, thus completing the entire process of the Chaumian coin join. Okay. I know that this is rather complicated, uh, so please uh, feel free to, uh, to watch this video a couple times to read the entire paper or framework several times. And uh, especially these two paragraphs that I've just read and this, uh, this chart here or, or this, this flow chart, so to say, because this really conveys the gist of it. Let's just summarize everything one more time. There are 50 different Wasabi wallets that are all combining in a coin join transaction. Each of these wallets has different identities which are different Tor network identities with different onion addresses. Uh, that is Alice and Bob. 
and they communicate with one Tumblr, which is the Wasabi backend, which is the Wasabi server, uh, in the case of Wasabi. Alice first blinds a address, which she will use as the output of the CoinJoin transaction, where she will receive the equal UTXO. She further provides a change output in clear text, okay, and an array of inputs, coins that she will want uh, to send to the Tumblr later. So she provides the inputs and proofs of these and outputs, both the blinded equal amount and the unequal change amount. This is being sent to the Tumblr. The Tumblr checks if the inputs are valid and have enough coins and are unspent. He checks the proofs that Alice actually has control of these inputs. And he signs this blinded equal coin join output. Sends back this blinded coin join output. Alice can unblind this coin join output and signs it with her private key. Then she reconnects to a completely new Tor identity called Bob, and she sends the signed coin join output back to the Tumblr, to the Wasabi backend, which then again does not, is not able to connect Bob to Alice. There are many Alices, there are many Bobs, but the Tumblr does not know which Bob belongs to which Alice. The Tumblr itself then checks for the valid signature of this coin join output. And he, when all Alice's and Bob's have provided their inputs and outputs and the signature of the coin join outputs, then he can build up the entire large coin join transaction, sending it back to all the Alice's, which can now use their private key to sign of, of all the inputs to sign the build up large coin join transaction. And the signature from Alice's input private keys are then being sent back to the Tumblr, who checks if these signatures of these inputs are all valid, and if so, combines all these signatures and ultimately uh, broadcasts the entire coin join transaction. Pierce, I hope this was somewhat clear. I know this is damn, damn, damn uh, difficult and not as easy to understand as one might think, but it is a tool for you to reclaim your privacy. And although this was a dense video, I hope I conveyed the information somewhat clearly. Please read the entire framework. It's really worth it. And please ask the questions because I absolutely did not understand this until I bombarded Nopara with 101 questions about all this. And I still have not fully understand it, especially the cryptography. I haven't even touched that because uh, that's just magic that is way beyond my head. Uh, but peers get educated, right? Try to understand it. You have the information, it's out there, right? Read the framework and then try to understand it as much as you can. And in the next video, we will see how this finished coin join transaction actually looks like. So Piers, as always, thank you very much for joining me here and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.